Hello, my name is Paul Georgie. I'm a director of sales engineering here at XM Cyber. And over the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna give a very quick high level demo of our solution, covering just a couple of key features, introducing you to some of the capabilities of our solution that is revolutionizing the breach and attack simulation space. We're going to start in our main dashboard since it's a good place to look at a few of the outcomes and define a couple of the key terms before I take you into my favorite feature, the battleground. Most of this dashboard is fairly intuitive, but I wanna quickly define this term scenarios that you see here a few times. A scenario is the framework for any breach and attack simulation in our platform. We define at least one breach point and one critical asset, and our simulation engine safely considers an attacker's map of possible, moving from that breach point, targeting those critical assets, leveraging vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and user activity. There are many out of the box scenarios, but I like working with customers to define some real world concerns for them. For example, if I wanna know if an old unpatched Windows machine is compromised, what is the risk to a critical production system? We define these scenarios, let them run daily, and then gain visibility around the attacker's map of possible I mentioned. As the scenarios regularly run, we get some really useful data populated in this dashboard. You can see I have a few scenarios selected in this trending graphic visualization, the scenario score over a month. I could see that our ransomware risk has been slowly improving over the last month and the hybrid risk to customer data scenario seems to have some regularly occurring event that seems to be impacting the security posture, potentially increasing the risk to those critical assets during those times. I wanna highlight a couple of the other graphics here on this screen as they represent a few of the key outcomes I wanna make you aware of. The first one is this critical assets at risk graphic, providing insight into the most at risk critical assets, along with showing the average complexity we observed to compromise that asset, primarily based on the average number of steps it took to compromise that critical asset from a breach point. The other very powerful insight are these choke points, bringing attention to the most common entities within your environment, putting your critical assets at risk, allowing you to focus remediation efforts on those first, which will have a highly observable impact to the security posture within the environment. This is my favorite screen, the battleground. It provides an amazing interactive view into what occurred during the simulation. We always start at the end of the simulation where you could see the entities that were compromised shown in red, the entities that were discovered but not compromised by the attacker in blue, and the entities that were not discovered by the attacker in gray. I could see that 73% of my environment was compromised, but I may wanna start by just investigating my critical assets, which I do by selecting this option. Both defined critical assets were compromised in this scenario, and I can get a deeper understanding by selecting either of them. I'll choose this EC2 instance in the EU West 1 region in, in my AWS environment. Immediately, I'm presented with the steps an attacker could take from that breach point to compromise this critical asset. The log on the left steps me through each of the big events as the attacker moved from a machine named Alex, leveraging vulnerabilities, harvesting credentials from other machines compromised, finding AWS keys, pivoting into my AWS environment, and then eventually compromising this critical asset, the EC2 customer portal. If I wanted to visualize in real time all of the steps an attacker performed during the scenario, I could use the slider to animate the map, providing a visualization of the attacker's movements that anyone can comprehend. As much as I love the battleground views, they aren't very printer friendly. So we do generate reports that are more suited for that format, each with MITRE alignment, remediations, and best practice recommendations. For this scenario we reviewed together, I can review the campaign report and investigate any of the findings we discovered. If I wanna understand the steps to remediate any of these attack techniques, I can click on this view remediation link and receive guidance into the suggested remediations and best practices. Each of the recommendations walk you through step-by-step step how these remediations can be applied to your environment. Another report I see customers regularly seeing value in is our credentials reports, bringing attention to both domain and local credentials that can be compromised and potentially reused as the attacker moves across the network, simulating real world attack behavior from threat actors. It's not uncommon to find many privileged accounts like these cached and vulnerable to be used by attackers in both simulated and real world incidents. That's all the time I have, but hopefully that gave you a quick insight into XM Cyber. Thank you for your time.